Windows, it's highly recommended that you install Git Bash plus SSH on your operating system, specifically because most of the tutorials that you will find online, they're using some sort of the Bash shell in order to run different commands. So in order for you to install this on Windows, the easiest way to do this is if you go to jaceacademy.com or click on the link below this video, which just links you to git sem.com forward slash downloads. And here you will find this downloads page here for Git. And what you're looking for, you're looking for the Windows version. And it's going to go ahead and start off the 32-bit install here. As you can see, it's downloading. Now, once you have this installed, um, you got to make sure that you install it correctly because we want to have uh, Linux-like commands but on Windows. And what I mean by this is, is when you typically see somebody run like an LS command, you will be able to run the same command from Windows. So I'm going to go in here. So there's a lot of benefits to having this installed. So I'm going to click on this and this is going to go ahead and open run. Yes. Next, make sure you go through here and read the license. Looks good to me. Yes. Okay. Now there's a couple options here that you need to select. You got to make sure you uh, add additional icons and let's add it to the desktop because we need to be able to access it from the desktop. Uh, Windows Explorer integration, bash files, git files. This looks good to me. Next. And now here's another important part here. If you want to use uh, git from the Windows command prompt, then you got to make sure that you select the second option. And if you want to put Git into the environmental path, make sure you select the third option. But for us, the simplest one is going to be use Git with the Git bash only. Now, in this window, you're going to have to decide what kind of style line ending you like to use. For me, the first one is going to work perfectly fine. And it's going to ask you then now what type of configuration you would like to use. I'm going to use min TTY and the reason for this is because it won't use the Windows default console window because it's a little bit hard to resize and it, I just overall like this one a little bit better. So I'm going to click next and I do not want to enable file system caching and this is going to go ahead and install git on this machine. The install is now complete. I'm going to click finish. And now you have this Git Bash icon here in your desktop. You can double click this. And then now you have this uh, Bash command line here uh, that you can interface with. And as you can see, I'm running Linux commands and the commands are working just like you would on a Unix system. Now that's all there is here to this. Now you'll be able to follow the steps uh, from any type of tutorials using kind of Nix commands on them. So that's all there is to this video. Hopefully you found it useful.